Cheers and welcome, my friends. I'm Honotak and we are playing Nantucket. Welcome back. We're still in Honolulu on our way back home, though, um, to Nantucket. And I wanted to buy a new ship, which we're going to do now. Um, yeah, we wanted to buy the brig, I think. Um, so let's replace it. And I have come up with a name. Let's hope that it actually fits. Yeah, we're gonna call this the conspiracy because I am, I'm sure that <laughs> the uh, contract people are actually conspiring against me. Yeah, that research is gone again. How's that a thing? I don't, I don't get it. Hmm. Oh well. I guess I'll never find out. Why says it not supported? Researchable. No, it's fine. Okay, well, in in any case. Um, so replace. Yeah, we actually don't need all that much money to go for the big ship. We're almost there. So, really, I think uh, Clipper would be pretty nice. We're going to lose a little bit of cargo, but we're going to have three world worlds, ten crew. Really high speed. We've got cannons and shit. we got to research some stuff like the ledger, but we can totally do that. Okay, so we got the we got the conspiracy now. And what? Come on! I bought the bloody ship. Uh. Okay, again. Con conspiracy. Okay, the poor brick conspiracy. Okay. Yeah, now it's stuck. Okay, good. Um, do we want to take anyone on in terms of crew? <laughs> we might want... We have two whaling boats now. I really would like to take on a harbor master. Yeah, captain's cabin. I think we want him. Poor. What are you? You have no traits whatsoever. And with Kawhi, you know, it's the same trait. Black market. He's generous. Minus 0.3% lay per level. Yes, please. Welcome aboard. <laughs> and then over here, do we have anyone that we want to take on? No, these are all cooks. Allows you to install improved ship's caboose compartment. We probably need someone like that, but yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't really want to do that. We still have two more free slots. Maybe I should just take some ship boys with us. Working attribute less lay. Sounds like fun. Anyone else? Yeah, the um, musician plus five morale to all our crew members. He's like, he's annoying. It must be very difficult to find a job if you're already annoying. We could take someone like that with us. Um, covering fire against humans. We might have to. Allows you to install and improve the ship's cannon department. He's seasick. Mm, solitary. I think we might find better people um, back home. So, hmm, we do have a strong hunter though. Maybe we just take him. We already have a hunter though with Ernest. He's probably not specialized. But yeah, a strong, a strong hunter is probably good. We have two boats now. We kind of should be able to. Uh, nah, we're gonna leave it for now. We're gonna leave it. Let's actually sail home. Um, so let's put in fair amount of water, fair amount of food, fair amount of grog, fair amount of that, um, and then oh yeah, we've got a new uh, thing here. United Kingdom's Parliament abolishes death penalty for over 100 offenses. Well, that's rather progressive. After the end of the Mexican Empire, Central America declares independence. All right. Basilica of St. Paul outside the walls in Rome almost destroyed by a fire. No, that's not good. Ooh, we have another waiting area. Unveil the Louisiana's destiny. On a little to Horta. Yeah, we, we could do those. I mean, why not? It's good money. It's good money. So let's sail. I wonder where that whaling area is. 28 days is not that far away. Hey, that's the Acheron. 
That's great. That's one of the ships that uh, Jack Aubrey hunts. But I think the conspiracy um, works better with our captain. <laughs> ah, that's going to be kind of difficult to get there. Oh, well. Uh, so let's have a look. Yeah, I'm still working the quarter deck. No one is working the caboose. So they've, they've just basically stuck to what we wanted. Can you... If I put you in here... 4% times upgrade level of blubber converted to oil. I really would like to have that. Mm, the upgrade for the Triworks is already available, too. Okay. Well, we're fine. We're fine. Let's, let's actually sail there. Come on, give me a good waiting area. I did not want to sail down here because here are adverse winds and we might not be able to get to that coast actually. Man, we have a really big area where we can see whales and stuff. Finoy! Looks like you have discovered a new waiting area, but your presence made the creatures nervous. Okay, so new waiting area. We have two boats now. Um, so we're gonna take me and Gabriel in different boats, and then we're gonna have Ernest here, and we're gonna have Nicholas here. So we kind of have a support boat and a hunting boat. Sperm whale, yay! These guys, I think, give you the most um, in terms of blubber, so that's pretty nice. Let's go. Okay, we got a strike. Uh, we can just take out that whale just right away, which is grand. And then we can take the protective maneuver. Oh, it needs to be the same. Ah, okay. Okay, well, it's still fine. I can I can make our make our guy immune over there. He's immersed. He's attacking. No! Ernest is overboard! Shit! Not good. Not good. We're gonna... Like, do this. Okay, we're gonna go with the protective maneuver. Um, I got the clumsy strike. Which means I'm gonna attack that sperm whale. It's actually not bad. Like, five damage is okay. That's why we upgraded the harpoons. So that uh, even untrained people can actually take the... Oh yeah, holy cow! Ten damage! Against Ernest. That could have gone... Really wrong. Okay. Hmm. Are the rolls still okay? Yeah, I think so. Healing. Attacking. That's all fine. Okay. Okay. Like, is it more important to take out that whale? No, we're gonna, we're gonna start to, to do damage to the big guy. We've got nothing on the other boat. And he's overboard, of course. Shit. Holy crap. We gotta really look out for Ernest here. That is... That is bad. <laughs> what? We need to be in the same boat to do the healing? Really? Okay then. If you say so. That is incredibly bad. And we've struck out completely over here. Frick. No! Don't kill Ernest! That damn sperm whale. This is gonna be this is gonna be a gamble though. This is gonna be a freaking gamble. If I can't protect him. Okay, we're gonna protect him here. And he's healed himself completely. <sighs> okay, we gotta.
Damn! No! We lost our hunter! God damn it! Ah, oh, That is so annoying. That is so annoying. Rest in peace, Ernest. It was a conspiracy for sure. Yeah, the captain level just up. Great. Hmm. <laughs> what else can I do? I kind of, I kind of should actually um, get better skills here. Like take the hunting side. I think that would help. I'm gonna... Oh yeah, we gained another hunting dice. Which means I'm actually gonna get rid of the... How many skills can I get down here? I guess I just gotta wait until I get more. Man, I'm so sad we lost Ernest. I mean, we have a sperm whale hunting ground. December 21st till March 19th. So the same time as that one. That is incredibly annoying. That is incredible. We lost our best hunter. Damn. Yeah, I'm I'm really sad now. <laughs> I'm absolutely saddened. Yeah, we're not gonna hunt that whale either. Like, we're we're out to hunter now. End of the harbor. It's a very very somber mood as we're traveling home. Burmese Empire's forces attack the British on the island of Shapura. Actress Charlotte Melmoth, known as the Grand Dame of Tragedy, died age 74. That is a princely age in 1823. That is really old. <laughs> Italian painter Francesco Hayes presents his The Last Kiss of Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. I have a crap ton of prestige, but nothing really that I can do. Could hire another funny guy. Yeah. No. It's just eternal sadness. <laughs> Sell some of the food. We still have way more stuff than we need. What are you saying? There's a low number of men. Yeah, I know. We're going to try to not get into any encounters. So we're gonna try to sail to Halter. Maybe. Where are the pirates? I don't see any pirates. That is pretty nifty then. So let's see what we got in Halter. Oh! Approaching the ship, it looks like the one you were looking for, but the fire is rapidly destroying it. Could board it. I could look for survivors. Just gain prestige. I, I don't really need the money. Prestige. Not a single crew member. So these guys have been killed. But we, we finished the quest, which is nice, I guess. Mm -hmm. There's the whale migration um, area. Enter the port. Yeah, we got, we've got nothing here. U.S. Supreme Court rules that private citizens cannot purchase land from natives. Really? I guess it makes sense because otherwise you can start your own land. <laughs> Charles McIntosh begins selling raincoats, coats made with waterproof fabric. We could use that on our ship. And Daniel the Marked hijacks another ship. You have to deliver the goods to in but take a reward. Yeah, thanks. Let me take that. 100 XP. So, 
Swimmer. While retreating, you can't be targeted by enemy attacks in combat. Yay! Pain Master. He's, um, okay, welcome aboard, David. <laughs> Bye, Ernest. Welcome, David. It's fine. <laughs> uh, hmm. Yeah, and we probably want Nuno as well. Master Boiler, amount of oil gained using Trivox is used, increased by 10%. Allows you to install and improve the ship's Trivox compartment. And amount of blubber extracted from whalers increased by 10%. So this will really rake the oil in. He's going to get 7% of the labor. He's probably going to pay for himself over and over. I'm expecting at least. Mm, we need a Harbor Master. Ah, right. Uh, someone, someone for the captain's cabin. Otherwise, yeah. It's really nice, nicely done. The whole skill tree and all that. We should probably have two hunters. Like, if we had two hunters, we would be able to do lots and lots of damage. Let's just have a look. Bernardo is just a slop eater. Tiago is mu a musician, but a non-swimmer. Non-swimmer in a in a whale hunter is just bad. <laughs> But the old sea dog is pretty nice. Yeah, but if he falls into the water, he's just dead. So we really can't have that. We cannot have a hunter who's a non-swimmer. We could take him with the idea that I might be able to teach him how to swim. There are actually events for that, and I've done it in the past. Um, I don't think this is the time for it. Crew is taking 35%, but we should also be able to pull in a lot more. And yeah, we've not been researching anything. I'm gonna bark and teen. Yeah, that is way too advanced for us. We won't be able to to get the try works. Okay, so sail away. We're gonna sail to Peterhead, I think, because we're closer than uh, to that than Nantucket. Get our try works improvement and then start something there right away. <laughs> so, actually, we're closer to Nantucket than Peter had. Oh, well, screw it. When are these active? June 21st until September. So we just arrived here when these are no longer active. Damn it. December 21st. We'll be able to hunt some narwhals, but they're not the greatest. Well, doling out the daily grog ration brings out a toast. Yeah, that's fine. I, I could use the prestige. Could hunt over here. Killer whales. Throw away the putrid water barrels. We have we have lots, so it's it's fine. Mm -hmm. No profit from the hunt. Do we need to buy anything? Stuff needs to be put onto the ship. Yeah. Okay. So we're two over there. We cannot upgrade that thing. Cannot upgrade the ledger, although I would really like to hire someone who has a ledger. Oh, well, that's the same kind of thing. Get the reward. Oh, we're now able to actually kill a famed sea creature. Becoming the most wanted prey of the bravest whalers. That's level 7. Kind of could try that. I've never done one of those. Hmm. Hmm. We could, we could. Let's let's try it. I mean, we've moved up in the world. Now, we need a second hunter. We need a harbor master. Yeah, him. Hire him, Hubert. He's like strong. She's gonna help, I guess. Um, and then we need a second hunter. Ralph is rowdy. Damn, no good hunters here. Hmm. Eh, ah, you can't have everything. You cannot have everything. Okay. Um, let's go and do some upgrade in here. Yeah, let's let's upgrade the surgical kit now. That has been annoying me for quite a while. It take will, will take ninety days to complete. Then you can come back here to finalize the research, upgrade the related compartment. Uh, I guess I gotta click on OK.
Okay, so let's hope that that actually sticks. Okay, 200 days, 200 days, 200 days, that's all fine. Um, let's sail over to Nantucket. If we can pick up a whale on the way, that wouldn't be bad. But it's also not extremely important. Because we got a bunch, uh, bunch of money and the outlay that we have is not crazy. October 21st, yeah, we'll probably not be able to catch that. Sixty-eight. Where's that? Oh, that sea creature is over here. Yeah, it makes sense that it's in the Pacific. <laughs> uh, okay, just a couple more days. We might probably be able to work the Narwhal area, though. If we wanted to. Yeah, no profit. New newspaper. British forces invade Ashanti Empire in an attempt to secure the Accra area. <clears throat> Composer Giacocino Rossini moves to London where he is introduced to the king and the Netherlands authorities inaugurate the Great North Holland Canal. Alright, what about the jobs? Let's take our rewards. That's good. Hmm. Yeah, we've got nothing to sell. We've got people to hire though. Cecil is gluttonous. Alice is a nonce. We're, we're going to take the gluttonous hunter. Screw it. Yeah. Uh, I'm already giving 50% of the whale away. Hmm. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to be able to hunt way bigger whales and uh, keep much more stuff in our hold. Okay. So, uh, what I want to do is upgrade the ledger. This gives us more income from oil and blubber. So we've got level 1. I want to upgrade it to level 2. And that's the only thing that is not upgraded. Mm. Damn, I should have upgraded something in Honolulu. Nah, we're going to go back there in any case, I think. Okay, just let's, let's just hope that this sticks. It would really annoy me if it, if it didn't. <laughs> huh. Okay, no no new rewards, I guess. No new jobs. Let's go for 200 days. Hmm. What now? What now? Um, where do we have the waiting grounds active? I think it might actually be active in the Pacific. We could wait for this. But if we're there, yeah, December 21st, March 19th, if we go there, 77 days left, we will be able to actually hunt the Sperma CT over here. So we're going to travel to Horta first. Um... And then we'll, then we'll travel to Imbituba because I don't want to. I don't want to get close to the pirates. Jobs, deliver goods in Peterhead. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not where we're gonna where we're gonna go. So let's let's keep that for. Yeah, let's let's get water for three hundred days. Food of for three hundred days. Our price is actually pretty high here. That is that is not good. Okay, got to keep in mind that uh, prices are not the same everywhere. Duh. Uh, buying stuff in Horta is way more expensive. I mean, it is an island. They have to transport everything over there. So I guess they're making a living by supplying whalers. Makes sense. Oh, damn! You assign a man with no cooking experience to the kitchen. His meals are feeble, unappealing, and tiresome. Your men are not pleased. Dysentery. Dysentery. Damn! Nicholas is a slop eater now. Yeah, that's that's not good. Come on, stop that. Um, harpoon. Assigned crew. Can we, like, have someone work that? We can't. What are you? Craftsman. 
He should he should be working the tri work. So our hunters are in here. He's a Xenophilius guy. No, he's Portuguese. That's interesting. Mm, caboose. Yeah, well, Hubert is cooking. Damn, I kind of should have looked at that. Crap. Fine. I don't care. Live with it. You're going to eat what he cooks, even if it stinks. Decides to be a picky eater. He rummages through the stores, choosing the most pristine vegetables and leanest cuts of the meat. Don't do that. You must dine like the rest. This is not a restaurant. Always with the food. Okay, so we're here. Maybe we get some jobs here. Um, President James Monroe warns European powers not to interfere in the Americas. Georgia passes the first state birth registration law in the United States. And Nell de Beauté discovers a bright comet in our skies. It is now visible to the naked eye. <laughs> Human history could have ended there, I think. <laughs> yeah, wood is not expensive here. Food also isn't. So we're actually going to take some food here. Um, actually, no food is at a premium. Ah, we still got we still got lots of money. Mm, can't buy any ships or anything. No jobs. We could try to hunt that that sea creature, since we're already on the way. That could be interesting. We could probably lose our hunters again. That would be fun, right? <laughs> Let's do that. Why not? Right. Gigantic sea creature. Finn ahoy! You finally spot the dreaded creature you've been hunting. So let's see how that goes. That's gonna be interesting. Okay, so how are we gonna play this? We're gonna assign Cecil. Gabriel. And Nuno over here. And then here we're going to assign David. Me. And Nicholas, maybe? Yeah, probably. Okay. Humpback way legendary. Freaking hell! 83! <laughs> This is gonna suck. Oh, Sunny. Hunting dice sites won't enable commands. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. That is just the kind of thing that you want when you're starting to hunt a legendary whale. Makes me so happy. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. We're gonna get our asses kicked here. Frick! <sighs> okay, now we have clear weather. I mean, that's great and all. Except... Except, except the fact that uh, the other boat is all... Um, the other boat guys are all out of the boat again. Damn. Damn, Daniel. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna blind that stupid humpback whale. So that he... Damn! Unexpected dive! Arrgh! These guys are kicking our butt! Random crew member gets stunned. Yeah, please. This is freaking hard. <laughs> okay. He's overboard. He's a, he's a swimmer, though. He's, he's gonna come back. 
Come on. At least... Oh, he's, he's, he's dived. Smooth rowing. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bring them down to one enemy, and then we can sort of deal with him with two whales. Freck! He's dealing ten damage to everyone in the boat. We're getting our asses kicked here. We might have to retreat. I don't really see us winning this. I mean, I can do 11 damage now, apparently. I think the uh, being a sailor, hunter sort of uh, mix is probably good. These guys are all overboard, so we're not going to be able to do anything. Screw this shit. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Strike. Okay. First aid, I'm overboard. I'm gonna take him out. So that's one last attack every round. It's just a problem that these guys are probably gonna die. Yeah, he attacked Cecil. That guy's underwater. Now we really need to blind that stupid humpback whale. We need to blind him like there's no tomorrow. So come on, guys. Okay, we get two strikes. We got two strikes. He's bleeding now. He's down to 43. Oh. Fuck! Lost our hunter. Damn. <laughs> Hunt that legendary sea creature? Of course, makes total sense. I'm gonna get him. We still got our second hunter. If he dies as well, we're fucked. Like royally. Screw it, we gotta do damage over here. Yeah, of course. We did not manage to get anything done. Come on, take him down! Oh, he resisted the overboard because he's dead. <laughs> uh, okay, they both they both submerged. Uh, come on! He's still bleeding. He's gonna die on his own. I'm gonna heal me. At least he didn't get kicked overboard. I think, um... I think it's probably harder to kick someone overboard who's a swimmer. I think that might be the thing. So, come on. Yes! Holy frick. I mean... We're like... We like taking home a crap ton of blubber and stuff, but... Still, this feels... <laughs> this feels bad. This feels really bad. I mean, I've not grown as attached to uh, Cecil as I was to Ernest. But still, it's kind of sad. Yeah, less morale. Plus five morale for having killed a legendary creature. Five morale for killed enemies. Minus ten for killed mates. Yeah. And I think that can go pretty bad really quick. If you lose more than one guy. So I gotta experiment with uh, what we take in terms of loadout um, for the hunting boats and all. But yeah, I think it was still a successful episode, I think. We bought a new ship. We hunted a legendary whale. Um... We're moving up in the world, even though we're losing some crew members. Ah, they're expendable. Whatevs. <laughs> so if you enjoyed the episode, uh, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of it, please consider subscribing if you aren't already. Hope you join me for the next episode. Thanks and bye-bye.